I wanted to call this video Turbocharger Magic because sometimes it, it can be quite magical or you could say this is the power of the turbocharger because without the turbocharger you're going to be lacking in power. You know recently it seems like I see more miraculous healings of these 617 turbo diesel engines when the turbochargers are overhauled than anything else. And I think it has a lot to do with the mileage that's cranking up on these engines. And recently I had another couple reports of huge successes with 300Ds and 300SDs because the person took the turbocharge part, cleaned it, put in new seals, bushings and everything, put it back in there. Whoa! So I want to share with you one that I heard just the other day. Um, the fellow told me his wife was complaining that their 300D turbo would not even make it up a steep hill. It would just drag and drag and she was getting to the point where she didn't even want to drive the car. And he's, he's a mechanic so he had done, get this, he had adjusted the valves. He had rebuilt the fuel injectors. He had set the injector timing. He had adjusted the ALDA for fuel mixture. In fact, he was getting so much fuel that it was starting to smoke. But it still didn't have any power when they were trying to pull the car. And he did a compression check. And he told me, he says, Ken, I had between 375 and 400 pounds on every cylinder. So at that point, he says, you know, okay, I'm going to overhaul the turbocharger. And this, you've seen, you know, I have a number of videos on this subject because it seems like it's a lost thing. Uh, people aren't willing to take this on or they don't think it's that important. But this is the turbocharger, the Garrett T3 from a OM617 turbo diesel engine. You know, they made thousands of these. It's not a complex piece of machinery. Remember, it's just nuts and bolts. And what happens when these things age, it's not that the turbocharger wears out. It's what happens right in here underneath this heat shield. It starts to build up a lot of carbon and after a while, the turbine starts to drag against the carbon buildup and it's acting almost like a brake. So when the, tur the turbo tries to spool up, it can't because it's got all this junk and carbon buildup in back in here and it's rubbing on the, the turbine shaft and you're not getting any turbo boost. Let me tell you, you're just not getting any turbo boost. So if you have one of these turbo diesel engines, um, you know, there's really no way, I mean, you can kind of get, take the intake off and kind of spin it. And if it doesn't spin, look at how this one spins. You just barely spin it and it will just roll right through. If, if you spin it like that and it doesn't kind of go very far, that may be a good indication that you have that dreaded carbon buildup back in this area. And there's no other way to fix it other than take it apart. When you take it all apart to clean it, you might as well put the new ceiling rings and new bushings uh, and new gaskets in the turbocharger and of course if the other thing is I've seen them not spool up because of damage to the turbine wheel blades or damage to the compressor wheel blades now you can see this when you pull the turbo elbow off you can look down and see if you're your uh, compressor blades are damaged, but I saw one it looked like it had been ingesting water because these blades were just totally worn off and rounded off and if that that's another reason why why the turbo won't spool up. So if you have one of these older diesels and you're having issues with power output we have a number of resources on my website we have a a boost pressure test kit you can actually hook up to the manifold and drive the car and see how much boost you're getting out of your turbo and then we have all the kits all the instructions step by step to help you get this uh, off your uh, engine and overhaul it you if you watched one of my other videos i kind of went through the special toolkit i came up with to help you remove this from the manifolds without having to take the whole manifold assembly off your engine. So if, if you want some of these resources just check out the links below in the description and we do from time to time I do have rebuilt turbos on my website. It's all based on when I can get good cores which is becoming less and less often but from time to time I do have these rebuilt. You might want to check that if you see the link below in the description you can go right to it on my website. So I hope that helps you turbo diesel owners. You know well let's get some power let's get some magic back to these cars.